I'm the Destroyer from the widescreen gaming forum. Recently, while attending QuakeCon 2012, I was able to get my hands on the Oculus, a new VR headset currently on Kickstarter. If you happen to see any coverage of E3, you might have heard of these. For those that are unaware, id Software's John Carmack showed off the Oculus with a hands-on demo of Doom 3 BFG Edition. The same demo was shown at this year's QuakeCon. The Rift boasts a large field of view and low latency head tracking. In the demo, we were told that most headsets have a field of view of about 40 degrees. The Rift, however, gives the user a field of view of 110 degrees. One of the goals of this device is to allow the average gamer to have access to a high-end virtual reality experience. This project is catching the eyes of many big names in the game industry. My experiences with the Oculus Rift? When I put it on, I moved my head in any direction I could think of, and it followed. I couldn't notice any video delay. When I moved it around, it was very disorienting at first. My eyes were saying that I was walking forward. My mind replied saying, you'd be crazy. After a few seconds of moving around, I became used to it. The two screens render the game at slightly different angles, just like your eye sees. You can notice this if you compare the two halves of the screen in the video. After talking with Zen Sai, who tried them with me, we had to ask each other if they were 3D or not. It was so good, it wasn't noticeable. That, I think, is a good thing. We are a long way from consumer-level virtual boys now. The immersion is also aided by the closeness to the lenses, which are very close to the eyes. The lenses are fisheye lenses that warp the image a bit to make the image look more natural. If you look at the screen rendering in the video again, each eye is rounded at the edges, which are corrected to add the immersion. So, the downside so far, no glasses can be worn due to how close the lenses are. For me, someone with weird elongated eyeballs, my eyes actually hit the lenses, which was very uncomfortable. I ended up having to squish my face up a bit to push the headset away. This could be solved with adding some extra padding for the face, so that's not a super big problem. My issue is rare, so I don't think they would redesign the entire thing for me, but one could hope. In the end, this thing is super awesome. I plan on following this project and hope on seeing it on the market in the future. If you would like to see more about it, check out the Oculus website, oculusvr.com.